hello. Welcome to the Storyteller with me Nirupa. And today I bring you the story which is called The Search for the Seven Sisters. Sounds interesting? It is. Let's begin, shall we? Now this may be a long story, so I'm going to break it up into two or three parts. I'll let you know as I go along, okay? Let's begin part one. It's called A Summer Surprise. Hi there, my name is Nick. All year long, my sister Fran and I look forward to our summer vacation. That's when we board the train called the Paducah Special and head out to Paducah Falls. Do you all have a vacation that you look forward to? Summer, I'm sure, is the longest break. Is there some place that you go and you love to visit? Let us know about it. It'll be fun to know that. Interesting, yeah. What, so they uh, head out to Paducah Falls, yeah. What? You've never heard of it? That's where our grandmother lives. Maybe we'll find out some new places if you'll share your stories. And here she is now. Her name is Grandma Gumpelmeyer, but she likes us to call her Gigi. This is Gigi's house. It is just like her, warm and full of surprises. Gigi had a dog named Kumquat. See there? He is forever getting into trouble. She also has a swimming pool. Look at that! She's shaped like a guitar! So cool! That's where she keeps her pet trout. Elvis! That should be him. Elvis! There's plenty to do at Gigi's house. Sometimes we dance and sometimes we work. Like at the lemonade stand. But we always have fun. No wonder they look forward to coming here, isn't it? Yeah. One day we were eating Gigi's world famous fudge o matic ultra gooey banana split cookie Sundays when she told us this summer we are going to do something completely different. We're going on a search. A search? We cried out. Together? A search for what? A search for my seven sisters, said Gigi, showing us their pictures. Your great aunts. Each one lives in a distant part of the world. They are very far away. Look at them. They all look just like you, laughed Fran. <laughs> yes, agreed Gigi. They are good looking girls, aren't they? But I haven't seen them in seven years, she added, wiping a tiny tear from her eye. I miss them very much. That's Kate. Kate's in the United States. Dahlia moved to Australia. Sasha is in Russia. Natalie is in Italy. Trina's out in Kenya. Dina lives in China. And Coco's gone to Mexico. Let's go get them. Let's go find them. So we packed and we packed and we packed until at last we were ready to begin our journey. We have to go all over the world. You see that? They packed and 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 they're ready. <laughs> so we move on to the next page. They were ready. Let's go. Early the next morning we pedaled out to the Paducah Falls airport. Along the way, we waved goodbye to Miss Leggett, the fastest mail carrier in the country, and to Mr. Bagley, the best baker in town. Miss Redding, the librarian, leaned from her window and hollered, Bon voyage! As Gigi explained, that's French for have a good trip. Did you see the bicycle? How much fun is that? They have these bones for their biffle barker. Was that a biffle barker? Kumquat. For Kumquat. And that brings us to the end of chapter one. 
and I'll see you soon with the chapter 2. Let's see what is there in store. See you. Bye-bye.